9483 Istanbul Wildcats here in the Milson Division, currently ranked fourth in the division. Winners of the Bosphorus and Marimar uh, Regional. Really excited to get down with our amazing robot out in, of the bumper intake, amazing shooter and climber, and vision systems. Really excited to get down here, here on Behind the Bumpers. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Ogus, talk to me about your chassis. Seems like you guys are doing something special, and then we'll head into the intake. Talk to me about your chassis. Okay, so we use SDS MK2 inverted chassis in our uh, chassis and then we have it in belly pan. And the reason that we use belly pan that we are trying to center the weight on the on the robot to actually make it as possible as closer to ground to actually not to tip or not to uh, jam any knot into or under the robot. Therefore, we center our electro electrical board and the PDH on the again on this uh, uh, in the center to actually avoid any fall or any avoid any uh, collision while uh, interrupt interrupted by any other robots. So yeah. Now talk about about your intake. Seems like it's a really robust intake. Uh, so talk to me about that. Okay, so we have six rollers and on the, on the front of the rollers we, have, we are using a tape that is named Chetong, which is the reason that we are using this is actually increase the grip, tape, uh, grip rate and uh, we are using uh, polycarbon rollers so they are their uh, normal grip is not that much so the using Chetong on the front, front uh, ro rollers uh, is make us gain more grip so that we can let not inside and other rollers are going into a, not a not a direct line but a curved line to actually go to feeder by an easier and go to feeder by avoiding any jams again so therefore using polycarbonates makes it even uh, lightweight without any using a, any uh, heavier material. However, we need to use uh, in the metals aluminum shafts in the rollers to actually uh, avoid them uh, breaking or avoid them any cracking. So, yeah. What about this pivoting system you have for the intake? What is the ratio that you have? Uh, they are they are one to seven. The ratio between them one to seven. So basically, we have them. Uh, we have them like going. Uh, under the, like two fast to actually increase the efficiency while our driver is going to, going to, into the road, and therefore uh, we are using the, we are using the increasing the ratio here and here in, on the robot. So yeah. Now can we see the intake pick up a note? Here you can see our intake is going taking the uh, feeding the feeder two fast since the grip is high since the. Uh, Roller is not that much weight, not that have much, not having that much weight, so that they can move easily, so that they can uh, fit fit easily eventually. Now heading over to Zilla, talk to me about your shooter that you have. Okay, so our shooter is dead axle. It's uh, aluminum tube and the cat tongue again uh, as the intake. Uh, our shooter is moving, but I can't do it right now. Just moving shooter, we can do, uh, we can shoot whatever we want in the field. It's just like the middle in the field, uh, wherever we want to the shoot. And is the control is automatically shoot uh, coming from the shooting angle and the shooting s speed. So that's all I guess. About. Now, what is the angle? What are the angles that your shooter is able to go? The highest and the lowest. Uh, the highest is uh, like 65 to shoot, and the, it's like 17 to the down. So you're able to shoot anywhere uh, on all the field, essentially. To the in the middle field, yeah. yeah. All right. Now let's hand it back to Ogus to talk about your climber that you have. You have hooks over here. Tell me more about it. Yeah. Okay. So we are uh, our strategy to actually uh, that we have in this uh, climb. We, we are trying to make it as solid as possible. So we are using a ratio system. Uh, the uh, the cons of it actually it's one shot. Like the once you open it, you cannot make it a close again. But the pros of it actually, while our driver going to the, directly into chain, it's only uh, the only th thing he needs to do is push push the button and then our climb is auto working so the climb will uh, fall uh, suddenly and uh, since we are using a ratio system it will close immediately and we'll be able to hang our robot so yeah 
Now, Zilla, I also want to know about the controls and sensors you have. You talked about there's a you have special controls and stuff like that. Tell me more about that. So as my friend has mentioned, uh, our climb and the, uh, some other stuff so we, is not uh, based on the drivers. We want to make sure that the driver has less uh, work to do. Right. So our climb is automatically and the amp is coming from automatically. They can, uh, he can pause it uh, automatically and the shooter is also automatically. Uh, if we come to the sensors, we have a calm sensor in the uh, intake and in the feeder here. Uh, if you want, can we show the amp sensors? If you want to score an amp, uh, we just uh, activate the, uh, it has a button for the amp shooter. Uh, it just act activating the sensors uh, on the intake. You can open it. It just stays over here and the amp is basically work like the outtake of the intake. And if you want to shoot to the speaker, you can take it. Yeah, it just works, and if it, the sensor in the feeder is just uh, see it, our shooter is just uh, start to working on it. Uh, the controls and the sensor is just that. Now, Ogus, you also told me that there's something special with your vision. I see limelights, but I don't. Uh -huh. It seems like a special front casing. Tell me about that. So, okay, at the beginning of the season, we were trying to actually implement a 3G, and these line lines are 3G. And the reason that we are uh, the, the set them with the angle actually to, incre to increase the field of view. So, basically, it's true. Uh, so far, that we uh, anything that we explained, including auto, so we are actually depending on the vision and the line lines so much. So, we are using uh, Megatech 2 in our, on our line lines right now. And what we are trying to do is using pose estimation as much as possible to actually get the, the decrease the manual controls but increase the uh, automatic controls to actually increase the accuracy and the consistency on, on the road therefore we use uh, uh, pose estimation not for the only shooting but also for uh, outtake to score in amp uh, to a line and etc and with this this feature actually enable us to locate our robot on the field and Making this is actually helping our driver to, uh, even though uh, the robot is like having some issue with the vision, it can predict the location. Now, Zilla, you have something special with your auto. Tell me more about the auto that you have. Okay, so in auto, we have more than 10 uh, auto selection that you can see in here. Uh, that's uh, one of the most special things. Uh, and the auto is, uh, we use a path planner as an app and the pause estimation. The pause estimation has three values. Uh, the one is coming from the limelight and the pigeon that we use pigeon two, and the auto encoder on the server modules. So limelight are saying that uh, when they say I will text, they give us uh, as a one value and the pigeon uh, give us uh, the rotation of the robot in the field. Encoders are calculating it, calculating the distance that they go and then we take the three, these three values to make a position in the field. So when you have this uh, position in the field, you can see uh, you can see what, where you are in the field and you can act uh, for it. And also we use pause estimation not just in uh, auto as and uh, also in the teleo period. That's all yes. Thank you. Support Fund's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support.